Welcome to the garden. Today we're going to be clearing out a whole bunch of buckthorn. We've already cleared a bunch throughout here and we get a much better view of the pond. There's all sorts of birds and things I'm seeing that I've never seen before. So it's actually pretty nice to have a nice clear view like this. When pulling your buckthorn you've got two basic options. You can pull it out by the roots, which is especially simple on some of these smaller plants, or you can cut it back. I like to cut it back as low as possible. If you do leave any stumps, those are potentially hazardous. So just get as low as you can. And you could also paint a little uh, roundup or whatever that poison is on here, or just come back again every few weeks and trim it. But the best way is to actually pull it. So I recommend you get gloves because on the bare fingers these really wiry stems can actually really hurt after a while. It's really great to wait till after a rainfall. That way the soil is nice and soft so the roots should slip out really smooth. Now that we've cleared out all that buckthorn, we want to be cautious of erosion. Anywhere you cut the buckthorn back, it's going to have more rain exposure. And the most vulnerable spots are where we pulled it out by the roots. We've uprooted all that erosion control that holds that soil. So it's a good idea to replace it with something. I'm using some native grass that I really like. And this will actually create a nice little low growing environment. There's a few creeping Charlie kind of dotted throughout here too so that might spread. But the idea is really to hold back that soil. Clearing a whole hillside like this we're especially vulnerable to new erosion. So on the steep spots and anywhere you've pulled plants you want to think about trying to hold back that soil with either new plants or you could use some sort of mulch. Anything chop and drop, sticks and leaves, really anything will help. So I like to use grass because it fills in and it really looks more natural now. You can't even tell that we really took a whole bunch of plants out here. I like to mimic natural environments and this is that native grass after a few years. It really fills in but then you get wildflowers and things throughout. So I hope you give this a grow in your garden. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.